good to see you today. I had some great guesses about today's mystery animal. Some of you guessed some very big, heavy animals like a bear and a dinosaur and an elephant. So let's sing our hello song in a heavy voice, like a heavy animal. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm heavy. I'm heavy, and I hope you're heavy too. Should we try it again? Can you sing with me? Can you put on a heavy, you know, make a heavy shape with your body or a heavy voice? Ready? Hello, 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 hello and how are you? I'm heavy, I'm heavy, and I hope that you are too. And I have to tell you that I am great today. How are you today, Lizzie? Great. Great? So let's sing one time normally. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm great, I'm great, and I hope that you are too. Okay, are you ready to hear what the animal is? Let's play the beginning one more time and think about whether your guess, you think it's the right one or whether you want to change your mind. Here we go. Does it sound like a dinosaur? Or does it sound like a bear? A brown bear? Or does it sound like an elephant? Well, if you guessed elephant, you are right. This is the carnival of the animals number five. This is the elephant. So are you ready to dance like an elephant with me? Lizzie, are you ready to dance like an elephant? Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to dance like an elephant. I've got my elephant trunk ready and my stomping elephant feet. And here we go. I hope you'll be moving with us at home. It's hard to make an elephant sound. Here we go. Elephant's doing now. Maybe he resting? Maybe he's drinking some water with his trunk. Oh, there he goes. Maybe he's taking a walk again. Marching? Can you be a marching elephant? You did great. Yeah, it was an elephant. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy dancing like elephants at home? All right, Lizzie and I are going to sing a song now. I didn't think of a lot of songs about elephants. I thought about all the songs I know and I couldn't think of a lot, but I did find one. It's a very fun song. And if you listen carefully, you might hear your name in it. I won't have time to do everybody's name today, but next time we sing it, I'll make sure I get different people. I wonder if you've heard the song before. Will it be Wallaby Wee? An elephant sat on me. Will it be Wallaby Woo? An elephant sat on you. Will it be Wallaby Wizzy? An elephant sat on Lizzie. Will it be Wallaby Wemma? An elephant sat on Emma. You know what I just thought of? What? I think we should keep some rhythm. Because we're going to be making shakers today if you if you want to make a shaker at home. 
And Lizzie, do you want to keep the beat with this shaker? Yeah. yeah? Will it be a wallaby woo? An elephant sat on you. Will it be a wallaby we? An elephant sat on me. Will it be a wallaby whizzy? An elephant sat on Lizzie. Will it be a wallaby Emma? An elephant sat on Emma. Will it be a wallaby wage? An elephant sat on Paige. Will it be a wallaby Wolfia? An elephant sat on Sophia. Will it be a wallaby Wablo? An elephant sat on Pablo. And will it be a wallaby Wookie? An elephant sat on Yuki. Will it be a wallaby Wog? I hope that you sing along. Will it be a wallaby We? A sing along along with me. That's a really silly song. All right. The other idea we had today, since we have this fun instrument we can play, is that maybe you guys could make one at home. So Lizzie and I went on a nature walk the other day, and we found these little kind pearls. of... Lizzie thinks they look like pearls. Can you guess where they came from? Where did they come from? They came from, from a tree. Yeah, they fell from a tree. There were so many of them, some were really tiny. We picked a lot up, we saved them in this little box and we can actually use something like this to make a shaker. So I just found a plastic we had at home that we use usually for food. And I'm gonna put in my beads and then we close it up. Would you like to try out our new instrument? Yeah. Yeah, makes a pretty nice instrument. Can you play it while I sing? Right. Oh yeah, even better. You can also hit it and you can hear it. Can you do it close to the camera so they can hear? Hold it up here. Yeah, when you hit it, it also makes the shaking sound. So why don't you play that while we sing another round of Willoughby Wallaby? Yeah, ready? Here we go. Willoughby Wallaby Woo An elephant sat on you Willoughby Wallaby Wee An elephant sat on me yeah, and you can use all different kinds of things. You could put rice inside. It will make a different sound. You could play with putting different things and see if it makes different sounds. Maybe beads, if you have beads at home. Oh, she's thinking you could put M&Ms in there. That would probably make a cool sound. And then you could eat them later if you have M&Ms at home. So I'd love to see your shakers. If you can make a shaker, you can also try putting them in something smaller or something bigger and see if it makes a, a different sound. And if something that you want, like food. Or some food. Okay, can't wait to hear your shakers. We're gonna do one more thing. Oh, clapping, Mom. We're gonna read this book because this book ends with a very funny thing happening with an elephant. This book is called The Animal Fair. Okay, and I'm, it's a singing book. I'm gonna sing it to you now. I wanna see. Okay, the animal fair. You can see it's a big circus full of animals and you're gonna see them doing some silly things. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The seals sang silly tunes while blowing up pink balloons. The kangaroos had nothing to do but rattle six silver spoons. The toucans in the trees were watching the chimpanzees. The chimps were shy, they covered their eyes and swung on the high trapeze. Have you seen a trapeze before? Look at those chimps up in the air. The bears came down the stairs while juggling purple pears. The parrots squawked, they chattered and talked as they stood on the back of their chairs. Next came the mischievous monk. He jumped on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed. Oh, and fell on his knees. And that was the end of the monkey, 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 monk. That was the end of the monk. Woo! We went flying through the air. All right, we hope you liked that story. See you again.